Hey folks, Flip here and welcome to Empire's SMP Season 2. Today starts a brand new journey with a bunch of familiar faces in a brand new Minecraft 1.19 survival world, where I will be creating a massive cave empire to sprawl across the underground. But first, we start from humble beginnings, as with every Minecraft series, chopping the first tree down, and we're off on an adventure. Crafting up the first of many essential pickaxes, the wooden pickaxe. There was a sheep over here though, so maybe we can get some wool and get a bed. That would be very nice. I heard another one. Where was it? Where's the sheep? One more to go. This just feels right being underground, but it's time to grab a little bit of cobblestone. Cobblestone pickaxe acquired, and we'll get a full set of cobble tools just to get ourselves started. And of course, the furnace. With that, I ran off to explore this brand new world in search of villages to gather as much food as possible before diving underground. Oh wait, check that out. There's some coal over here. That's gonna be very important because I'm starting to- <gasps> Iron! The village can wait. Get some food started and I'll gather up the rest of this. Maybe a second furnace to start getting the iron going too, but uh, at least I can eat. Now for the most important piece of equipment, our shield. We can never die. We're totally safe from everything. I almost got swarmed by some zombies, so I grabbed everything and ran out of there, but check this out. We've got a ton of iron. I guess we need more sticks first for the iron pickaxe, as well as an ax. In the final sheep, we must sacrifice to forever skip nighttime. Thank you, good sir. Hello, cow. Hmm, yes, the best source of leather in the game. So it begins. Look what we found. Oh my gosh, there's a village. Okay, we need to steal all of the hay bales we can find and hopefully nobody has raided this one yet. The bells are still here, that's a good sign. I'm not seeing any hay bales. Nope, somebody's been here. We must go on until we can find the hay bales. They're gonna be worth more than gold and diamonds, which is worth a lot more than gold. Running up to the top of the mountain, we can get the next most important resource, spruce logs and definitely spruce saplings. Just four. All I ask for is four. Can we get three, two, one. One spruce sapling. That's all I ask. Oh, one. Yay. Most important item after we've got our four spruce saplings is a bucket of powdered snow. I don't know why, but I need it. Many saplings have been acquired and look what we got over there. A rune portal with gold and a village and pumpkins. Wait, that's huge. But first the gold and nothing in here that we want. One iron though. That's, we want that. Free iron ingot and free gold. Oh, wow, that's a big cave. Don't fall in there. Hey, bales, hey, bales. Oh my God, hey, bales. I think it's only two, but I'll take it. Yes, yep, yep, so good, so good. We can build with mud today. It's not even that I'm concerned about trying to eat. It's literally just that I want the blocks to build with. And I will definitely take a blast furnace. All right, there we go. Time to move around a little bit and see what else I can find. Cause I would love to get all of the saplings if I can, but I don't, I don't know where the other biomes are. There's a Savannah back at, oh, I don't know who died there, but I'm sorry, whoever you are. Continuing the adventure around this world, I found another village, which I ran into and grabbed up as many goodies as I could find. Right next to that, I did find a pillager outpost. Wait, those are a lays. Oh my gosh. Oh, run, 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 get inside, get inside, run. Hey, Bales, too. Oh, I love this place. And we are safe inside. We bit of a problem. I'm starting to run out of food. There's an iron golem in there. There's more allays in there. If I give them dirt, I believe they'll follow me, right? Dirt? Dirt? Yes? Come with me, boys. Or are you just going to be looking for it? Okay, well. Run! <laughs> I don't like this. Allays, you're supposed to follow me. Okay, there's more. We're going to try. We're just going to let them out. We'll come back for them later. Gather the dirt, my friends, and come with me, please. They are following me. Yes. Get all the villagers there, too. Oh, God, no. Run away. Allays with me. Come, my children. Come. We lost one. Nope. We got all four. Yes. Oh, I love them. Don't love you. Oh, they're following me. We're running. Come, my children. We must find a safe cave to hide in to begin the empire. Oh, thanks, guys. I've got a little friends. Oh, they're bringing me dirt. Carry that to me right now. Bring that to me. Oh, I love this. I have minions. Pick it all up. Yep. And bring it right over here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is so good. Right. I've made it back to spawn and I'd like to create a sophisticated starter mini cave home for now. So the lays can have somewhere to hang out. Something right here next to the birch forest should work great. Maybe this home. This could be our home. Yeah. Oh, this is a cave base. Come on in, everybody. You guys all just run there and pick up the dirt. 
I'm gonna block you guys in there for now. For their own safety, I put all the LAs in the very back. I've got a little bit of a cave in here too. We've all got some lights. Next up, we're grabbing all of the food. Maybe we actually use the iron this time. In time to adventure and see what else we can find. Using a data pack, we did get access to the bundle through a new crafting recipe we made, meaning we can store a load of items inside of it until we hit the 64. So at least we can carry a bunch of random stuff. Exploring a bit more around the world, I found some dark oak trees to chop down as well as some jungle logs to gather up to. The only item remaining for me to find right now before I can get started is mangrove logs and a bunch of mud. Two things that I know where neither of them are. Oh wait, who's that at the campfire? Oh, it's Sausage. Maybe he knows where a swamp is. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Do you know where I can oh. find some of this? meat in tree form oh yeah i love that meat in tree form come with me i know exactly where to go oh, oh yeah, yeah. Also, oh perfect thank you thank you thank you i believe there's another empire that uh owns it uh okay, so we, so we sneak quiet. in from the side yeah we yeah, get the yeah, mud yeah. we get the yeah, mangroves yeah. and we out wait sausage look 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 what? what's over there I, we made it please, help. i'm fine y you're fine what i'm fine oh, we did it mangrove for wow. us i can't believe this we were distracted with this village and it's right the village there. and oh my god look at all these pigs wow so oh, much no, food no, no, oh wow you on your head that's messed up they think they're i know i know them. they love me i'm one of them i would die for him oh, oh he jumped oh, oh this sounds disgusting I love it. Now I just need to gather up a bunch of the stuff in here. Enjoy. I'm going to head home before it gets dark and I die. Thank you for guiding me here, good sir. Always fun to hang with sausage, but I got to work gathering up all of the mud and mangrove I could fit into my inventory. I also found my way down to a desert after a quick stop back at home and loaded up also on as much sand as I could carry to get the starter base going. And on my way home, I came across my new neighbor. All right, Joel, you ready to see my secret cave? Sure thing, Fwip. Where is your Look secret this. cave? I've got a secret cave. The cave empire has already begun. Welcome to my humble abode. Do not break alleys inside. Don't break. There's there's four alleys in there. Look at them. They're my best friends. Oh. Look at how cute they are. Cute. They are cute. They are very cute. Them. Kind of regret voting for them, to be honest. Copper golem. Yeah. Now a little it. regret, but they are pretty cool. You enjoy your cave. I'll see you around. Maybe a bit too close around. I'm mm -hmm. going up here. I'm going to find stuff above the mountain. Above not the caves, mountain. Yeah, the stuff. caves are mine. You do that. I will flip. Goodbye. All right, this goodbye. Voice chat mod is quite far away, isn't it? Oh yeah, you're getting really high up there now. Oh wow, yeah, yeah that's. I can still hear you slightly. Oh yeah, you're really fading out there. You have a great time up the mountain. All right, ah, neighbors. No, stands up. Uh, no, 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 no. No, oh, he's gone. No, get the dirt. Get the dirt. Come. No, everybody inside. Don't leave, please. No, my lace. Look at all these new goodies I got. We got a goat horn. We've got an enchanted golden apple and my first diamonds. While scavenging around to find the dark oak forest, I saw something up here. This mouth of a cave. Look at this thing. But wait, there's more. Just trying to avoid all of the powdered snow. But this, my friends, right here is the start. Oh, that's deep dark. Oh, that's terrifying. This is gonna be the start of the cave empire. I just gotta live in the deep dark. Inching our way down into the cave and things are getting quite spooky. But check out the size, the absolute insanity that is this cavern. My brand new empire base location. I needed inventory space and it's just been kinda on my head the whole time. But there's deep dark down here and i'm scared i'm scared of the warden i want to go get geared up first i've got a little bit of food here ready to go and we've got a little bit more iron cooking away so i'm thinking we get a few more iron pickaxes and it's off to see what we can gather and maybe maybe i don't need that a ton more torches and that should keep us at least to find some stuff out here wait who lives here there he is i have the pillager horn we could scare him <laughs> oh hello <laughs> I was, oh my god. I was spoiled. <laughs> no! <laughs> I was trying to get you, so close. <laughs> are you here to raid my wheat field, my poor I mean, little I could use some food. wheat field? Uh, actually, I mean, I could make some mud bricks out of that. Yeah, that would that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. I'm on a quest to get geared up. Have you found any good caves? There's one kind of over there. You see where the nether portal is on the ridge there? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Um. basically right underneath that, there is a doozy of a cave that I think we should check out. So okay. if you're yep, on board. Let's do it. I got food, I got pickaxes, I'm ready. And this goes down to a mine shelf. Oh, oh, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna do like a little triple torchy thing here so we can know how to get back up. Ooh, gold, nice. Oh, whoa, okay. Might as well uh, grab this. <laughs> don't, don't come down. Yeah, the, the iron was a trav. The iron was a trav the whole <laughs> I almost time. almost fell for that too. I, I wonder, like, you said you found something a little bit wardeny looking down your 
neck of the woods oh, as well. Oh, but I D found diamonds! Woo! Got a pickaxe. Oh, and this opens out. This really opens out. Yeah, I think we uh we head up this waterfall and we explore what's on these burning platforms. Yeah, that seems like a really safe bet. Why do I just want to sit here and gather up all of these chains? I'm doing it. Nothing can stop me <laughs> except the fact that the chain fell down the pit. <laughs> yeah, and there's oh, a creeper behind you. No! Oh. I'll go visit those guys again. That sounds like a smart call. Oh, geez. Speaking of smart calls, <laughs> things are not going well today. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> blocked digging, myself digging in out a of game. all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Diamonds! Yes! Only two. Oh! What? There's a slime! I definitely want slime balls if we can get some. If you're done finding places you don't want to go down, I'm basically done here if I have this many diamonds. Yeah, I got seven diamonds. I think I'm pretty set for now, too. <laughs> I think we probably need to call it before one of us gets killed again. I'm a little scared of tackling the cave right now, so I ran over to the mangrove forest, got a bunch more roots to build a wall. There's somebody right over there. We've just got to see if we can get as close as possible for a little spook. Oh, I see your name tag. We must be getting close. Okay, okay. Sneaky time. Oh! Hi! Oh my god. Howdy, Wait, neighbor. I have one of those too! <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Oh, that's so good. If I do the horn and you can hear it from yours, and then you do it, and then we send a chain round, it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, the beacons of Gondor or yes, something. Yes, yeah, I, I think, yep, we have to try this. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the... <laughs> <laughs> I love these. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> She's all the way over there. Oh, I love this. If you ever need assistance, just blow the horn and I will be here. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Assist. I haven't gotten that far yet. Run over. <laughs> Spend 10 minutes running over. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you hear the horn, I, I need a lot of help. You hear the horn, I need a, a lot, lot of, help of help in the cave. Okay, it's an emergency. <laughs> okay, the goals for this mission. One, don't die. Two, set up a perimeter with mangrove roots. Three, light up the inside of the perimeter to keep ourselves safe. We just have to get down into the cave once more. We'll use the waterfall. And there's already creepers. I really should have gotten a bow. Oh, and there's lava. Oh, we don't want to go all the way down. How can we get around the lava? Oh, all right, this is a big cave. We're in, securing it for the cave empire. Here it is, the entire section. We just got to keep making our way in. Okay, still good, still good. Woo, creepers. That's a warden spawner. We don't want to go over there at all. Okay, why am I creating the cave empire in the deep dark? Just got the torches down. Next up is the wall, which I really hope I have enough mangrove roots to do this. Here we have it, our first containment zone of the cave empire. Next up is time for the very painful trips of bringing all of the resources over. So let me get that done real quick. You all just stay over there, please. Nope, nope, don't come inside. Impenetrable wall, you cannot make it in. But I've now moved all of my stuff over from the starter cave. The LA's are still in there. We'll grab them later when we have a use for them. But I've been putting this off for way too long. It's time to put a roof over my head inside of the cave. I've designed an entire brand new build style for the cave empire. So this is a little anxiety inducing to actually put it into a survival world. I want to add a sufficient amount of wonkiness to this style because I think it could be really entertaining. So we start with a bit of a tower right back in here, but I don't want to live in just a tower. So we've got a whole building that's going to come out this way. For now, we're just using some temporary blocks to plot it out where we can add a front door in right over here. Sure. Yep, it's a great house, can't you tell? Before throwing in any walls, I do want to get the front entrance sorted. So we need a staircase coming all the way down. We build a boardwalk of sorts, so we're not actually touching the ground, and then we stay safe from the wardens. And occasionally we have little points to get down. That'll work great. Now for the front door, and then the rest of the walls.
this is looking really good so far but the mangrove is a touch dark so i'm thinking here at the front we can bring in a pop of acacia wood and use that throughout the build too so we just send up the entire front section making it again a little bit more on the wonky side and get a really organic shape and put the first light to keep us safe that's looking really good now the glow berries i found are also going to be super important over here because otherwise this build is not going to feel organic at all next i need to find a little bit of andesite somewhere in the cave oh nice it's right below us yay Oh, look how many creepers there are. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay. Oh, I really want to keep you alive. Oh, there's two of them. Two zombie villagers. We have to get them. Got my boats. Can we take out the creepers? Oh, you want to come over here? Right there for you, buddy. Yes. Okay. And then the smith. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they're both in the same boat. Yay. I don't like the cave. I don't like the cave yet. Oh. Okay, we're safe now. And we have two villagers. Yes. I'll be back for you boys later. But for now, I've run out of oak wood, so I got to go back to the surface and get a bunch more. Materials have been acquired, and I've patched up all of the holes in the main house and finished off the walls. But next up, I want to try out some of the packed mud and some of the mud bricks where I can start a three by three base and solidify it with some of the dripstone. From here, we just go straight up into the sky and build the rest of a tower. I'm almost done with the starter base, but I had to make a small excursion to the jungle to find some bamboo. And look at these two guys. I found two pandas. Come on, let's go. You can have a bamboo and you can have a bamboo. They're beautiful. <gasps> oh, I love him. Oh, he's a sneezy panda. Wait, we might be able to get some slime balls. <laughs> I don't think I'm bringing them home with me because I have a chest boat and not a regular boat, but maybe one day we'll come back for you. There we have it. My starter base is now completed. And now I'm thinking it's time to get dressed for the occasion. Let me just walk inside real quick. Ah, there we go. Much, much better for a cave empire. Welcome to the Goblin Empire. Soon we will rule the entire underground. But before that, I've got to start mining for a load more diamonds so we can get geared up. After we do a little bit of decoration because we don't want to rule an ugly area. No, 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 no. There we go, much better. Probably gonna be gone for a good amount of time. So I might as well take the advantage while well I can of getting some of this copper smelting down and give ourselves a little bit more experience. I've got some coal, I've got logs and I've got a ton of torches. It's time for a very, 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 very important step inside of this brand new season crafting our first diamond pickaxe we'll break through the iron one and see if we can hopefully at least get three more diamonds along the way let's get to work we've got our first diamonds let's go we've got five diamonds yes more diamonds let's see we got one two just two Another diamond. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, don't look at that. No. Whoa, check that out. We found some diamonds down here. Oh, this is amazing. What? Um, did I find a stronghold? I didn't know they could generate this far down. You've got to be kidding me. There's so many torches in here. Oh, we found some bookshelves. Check this out. We've got ourselves a library. Oh, and there's a chest right here. Any goodies? Smite three? It's okay. That was it, though. There's only one level of bookshelves. There's a giant lush cave intercepting the stronghold. Hopefully, there is a portal. Speaking of which, there it is. <gasps> Wait, why are there torches? Wait, it's lit up in here. There's torches. Why are there? Why is the portal activated? Thought we were saving the dragon fight for something. I'm a little scared. I'm gonna fill this in. Let's go figure out who's already went in here, cause I don't know what's on the other side. I've made it back home, and I think we can just start throwing some spore blossoms around because the particles are really gonna add to our cave environment. I don't want to be too overgrown down here, but I like a little bit of it. I think I'm just gonna toss all the stuff in here, and I'm gonna go see who I can run into on the server and uh, figure out what the heck's going on. But we are up to 19 diamonds and a pretty broken diamond pick. Look at it. There he is. Hey, Joel. Hello. I, hi, I have a question for you. Have you been in the end? No, I've barely been in the nether. Of course, I've not oh. been in the end. Hello? 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 Hi, Flip. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Have you been in the end portal? No. Why? Have you been to the end yet? No. Have you been in the end yet? No, I've not. I've not been to the end. Um, no. Why? Oh, the end. No, 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 no. No, that doesn't sound like something that I've been doing. No, it's not me. It is. Okay. Wait, okay. but I want that. I want that type of stuff. 
I'm gonna get everybody together here soon to investigate the end, but in the meantime, I've been busy decorating my starter house. The interior is coming along, but for now, it's mostly just a barrel room. But I do want to get geared up, so I have dug a small cave here in the back for a spot to put the enchanting table, and I use all of the books I got in the stronghold for the bookshelves. I just need some obsidian, which is where all these fancy diamond tools come into action. I also want to grab a few buckets of lava so we can start a mini lava farm with some dripstone. I've just got to remember where I ran into some of the lava down here. Oh, perfect. There we go. We got plenty of lava in here. Next, we get on top. There's already obsidian there. Oh, I don't like this. This is probably one of the worst positions I've been in in a very, very long time. Well, at least I'm on top now and I can pick up some of the obsidian. I'm gonna get some extra for another portal too. We've got our obsidian, we got some new diamonds, and over here, we've got ourselves some books, meaning enchanting table. We're trying to go big here, so I'm not even gonna waste on efficiency three. No, thank you. We're gonna do this. I'm breaking one, a quick reset, and efficiency four, that's at least a good start start. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, we gotta get back to 30 to keep going, but in the meantime, we got lava. In proper goblin fashion, we just need something that's highly functional. Nope. Spiders stay outside the wall. This will definitely contain the lava. We have nothing to worry about. Looks good to me. We're dripping lava. The next enchantment gave me Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 2. So I added them together and we have this guy now. Now for one more round of mining diamonds to try and get enough for full diamond armor. Or, or not, or I won't get uh, any diamonds really at all. I went this far strip mining. You can barely see the end down there. I got one. I thought goblins were supposed to be really good at mining and the diamonds would just be falling from the skies. All is not lost as I do have 20 diamonds for myself, which is pretty good. So I think we get some boots so we can try for feather falling and then we get some pants. And I think, wait, I can also get a chest piece. Amazing. Take this iron off and throw the diamonds on. Okay, still a success. Also, yes, so we can show our pretty skins. We've made it so that you can actually hide your armor and make it invisible. Cause now I can be wearing diamond armor. It still look like this and do not worry the custom armor from season one it's coming back eventually but for now this iron armor it's just gonna go in here my storage room is growing taller and taller as we go and i kind of like it i've sent out the messenger goblins to gather some forces to dive into the end and see what's going on in there but first we need to finish making this area presentable we need a cave tree and to make this well i've got to go to the nether like this please be safe no not safe at all this is the exact opposite of a safe biome i've got the gold earrings on and the helmet so uh we're good the piggies are at least going to be friendly with us do we have a warped forest anywhere no not that i can see so i guess we're going hunting oh oh no oh thank god <laughs> that would have been a really bad fall i guess the bonus in here is we do get to get up to all the way to level 30 again mining all the quartz and of course there's another fortress this is not what i want uh, that's not what i wanted that's i mean i'll take it i will take it oh i don't like this i think i tried fighting that with my shovel out of being scared we're finally here. This is what I needed all along. But now we can build cave tree. I just need a ton of these. And I'm realizing now I did not bring a hoe. This might be a little painful. Another wood, finally. And more importantly, the soul sand. I got to work building up the cave tree and some people started to show up at my doorstep to go check out the stronghold. Yeah, ready to get... <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the Goblin <laughs> Cave Empire. I went out oh around goodness. a few of you and uh, I found the end stronghold. Um, it's open, <gasps> the portal's been opened. And I went to a what? bunch of you and y'all said you didn't go. Does anybody know what happened there? I didn't know. No, what? No, 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 they, no? Okay, well, um, you all wanna go investigate with me? See what the heck's going on in there? Figure this out? I think we better had, yeah. Yeah. Wait, we've just started. No, should we go? I... Is this safe? It could be. I mean, yeah. I mean <laughs> if Listen it's a trap, me. we all go what together. What if it likes to eat witches? Yeah, this could be a trap. <laughs> yeah, go if on. it's a trap, we're all in there together and we'll sort it out. It'll be fine. If it's Fight a trap, trap, somebody's done that very Fair quickly. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I'm thinking. You that's what this sounds like a Lizzie so. trap. <laughs> I promise you... this time it wasn't me. How can we tell with that big brain in your massive head? Yeah, this is a this is a big brain play over here. I'm hiding nothing. There's absolutely nothing secretive about me whatsoever. Large. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well, okay, um, nice. it's in the mines this Should way. We... Let's go. Look, the portal's open. No way. Yeah. What? Who could have done it? I didn't do it. This thing was... tell us. You did it. No, it's weird. So do we go in? We figure this out? 
What? Well, wait, there's okay. another Joe. Why is that confusing to you? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess Joey is there. Let's go. Joe's in. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ooh. You uh, pushed me in here. I just didn't right. push you, Joey. Calm down. Let's be careful here. Let's be careful. Safety right, uh, guys. Get dragon. ready. Get your weapons wait. out. Wait, uh, the dragon is What are gone. these? Yeah, where's the dragon? Uh, Isn't there supposed to be a dragon uh, here? Is the portal out open? No. This it in is. Boats. The portal's open. Be somebody here. The what? egg's gone. It's open already? Is there someone we that's don't true. know about that's on this world? I mean, Scott's that. not here. Is it him? Someone that doesn't seem like Scott. Uh, no. Yeah, no, true. No. It, it's it's Scott the kind of person who the solos egg. a dragon fight. Yeah, I guess we can just go to the end cities now. Yeah, there's a yeah. gateway right over there. Okay, well, uh, huh. sorry for dragging y'all in here to find out there's <laughs> nothing going on, but thanks for coming. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, what do we get for this? Meeting y'all. Um, what do we got? Just come over here, Jimmy. I'll show you. There's a prize right here. Oh, yeah, show Jimmy. What is that? Yeah, yeah, it's a prize right here. What? Well, <laughs> 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 well, that was a little weird, but I do have endstone now, and I did really want to use this in my build, so uh, let's give it a shot. We're making endstone happen. We also now have a house chicken, but there we go. The starter base is complete. If y'all are excited for Empire Season 2, leave a like down below and let me know your ideas for the cave empire. I need all the help I can get filling out this massive cavern. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And with that, my friends, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.